Hey everyone, it's Brittany from The Pretty Plus. Um, today I am going to be sharing with you a little haul from ColourPop Cosmetics. I, I purchased uh, two lippies, two eyeshadows, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. So I figured that I would do a quick look with all the things that I got, or most of the things that I got, um, as I'm showing them to you. Uh, so today all I have on is some, uh, what do I have on? I'll tell you quickly. I have on some of the Complexion Rescue by Bare Minerals. So that's all I have on my face. And I'm going to get started. So, let's get started by sharing the bronzer. So this is the bronze. Oh, it's very glary. I'm sorry about that. I'll hold it back here. This is the bronzer that I got. It is um, a satin one, I believe. Let me open it. Anyway, I got um, Paradise Cove. And it's a Super Shock Cheek Satin. So if you don't know anything about ColourPop, they have all have a formula so that they all have to be in airtight containers. Because they're like... They're a really interesting texture. They're like gel like moussey but powder so that's what it looks like I'm going to um just start blending it on there I have a mirror over here so if you're wondering what I'm doing I'm actually going to use a brush I just wanted to get that off of my hand not waste it you know I'm using one of my elf small stipple brushes these are like my favorites and I think that they'll be good for this product I haven't tried it on yet So I'm just buffing it in, um, where blush might hit, I'm not like contouring or anything. Um, it's really pretty and it seems to go well with my skin tone. Alright, so that's the bronzer and I like it. I think it's really pretty. I have really fair skin so it's nice that it looks good with my fair skin. It doesn't look like orangey. And it still is really sheeny. I got the... What is it? Prenup. I got one called Prenup. And it's a really pretty pink color. Um, online I thought it was a little more purpley than this, I think. I'm not sure why. But I'm going to use the same e.l.f. brush. Because why not? And I actually broke this e.l.f. brush on accident. And so I got one to replace it, and I've just been using both of them now. So I feel like I need like a hundred of these. These are like my favorite stippling brushes. They're super cheap and work really well. So I'm gonna blend that just on top of my cheeks. Um, like I blended the bronzer like down here a little further and then up, and the blush I'm just putting at the tops of my cheeks, and then focusing a little on the apples. You know, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just doing what I know works well with my face. I think it's pretty. I really like this stuff. Okay. So another win. I liked that one. And then let's see here. I got a highlighter and the one that I got is called let me get it out of here. It's called Smokin' Whistles. And it's pearlized. And uh, looks like this. It's really pretty. It's like pink, like a champagne type of color. Um, pink and like silver pearl type of pieces. You know, like a lot of times you get um, highlights and they have like, they usually either have like a silver or gold sheen. This one's more of a silver, but almost white, like pearl, obviously. I'm going to apply that with a elf small stippling brush again this is a different one I don't want to get the color from the other two on there so I'm just putting this um basically over where I put my blush that's pretty I 
like it. Right now it's kind of hard to see, but like my face is all kind of shiny. Oh, I'm sure you can see that. My face is all kind of shiny because I haven't set with any powders yet. I wanted to put this stuff on because it is kind of a moussey texture before I go in and powder like my T-zone. But I think that all of it being satin and like pearl finish, it's going to look really pretty, but right now it's kind of overwhelming because my whole face is like that. But all three of these products I really like. I think that I stayed really true to things that I knew would work for me with my first purchase because I didn't want to get like outrageous like random things when I've never tried this brand before. So I'm really excited that these ones are things that I would usually get and I love them. And then they're really inexpensive. So these three, the blush, the I don't know where they put the other one. The blush, the oh there it is. The blush, the bronzer, and the highlight are all eight dollars a piece. And then I'll show you compared to the five dollar piece um, eyeshadow. I'll start with eyeshadow now. So I have a sad story to tell you about the eyeshadow um, once I'm done here. So this is the size of the highlight, bronzer, and blush, and then this is the size of the eyeshadow. Looks like the eyeshadows. 0 0.07 ounces and the um, smoke and whistles is 0.15 so a little over double of the size of this and they only charge eight dollars they could have easily charged ten dollars or twelve dollars for these products but I think they're doing great things with the amount of affordability that they're giving for the products and the fact that they're made in the US really is super awesome so back to the eyeshadow fiasco I got the color Plunge, which is pearlized, which of course I like pearlized, I like satin, I don't really love matte stuff. Um, and then I got the color Millionaire, and when I received it, it looked like, I don't, I'm not sure, I'm going to use the color Plunge with my finger, and I'm just going to put it all over the lid area, and I'm going to use this mirror over here. It's really pretty. I feel like I wish that Millionaire would have worked so I could use it kind of in the corners and kind of deepen up the look. But as far as like an everyday, like I would wear this to work for sure. It's just um, a basic um, champagne type of color and it looks really pretty. Okay. So the two lip products that I got, unintentionally I've got two matte colors, which is weird because I don't really wear a lot of matte lip products so you know whatever they were just the colors that I thought were really pretty and then I got them and one of them doesn't look like I thought it would the other does so I got the color fighter and online to me it looked more like an orangey red and then in person it's more of like a deep red like a true red almost and I'll uh that's what it looks like it's really pretty it's just not exactly what I was expecting so when I opened it I was like oh did they send me the wrong color but then I looked and it says the name and they didn't it's pretty it's like a pinkish red instead of an orangey red which is what I thought it would be but it's very pretty so I'm excited to try that one out I haven't put either of these on my lips yet and then the other color I got was Lumiere, which is like a mauve. And it's really pretty. See that one here? It's very, very, very like Kylie Jenner, Mac Soar type of color. And that's the one I'm going to put on my lips right now. Okay. That is a really pretty color. I saw this here and I was like, oh, I don't know how exactly that'll look. Then I put it on my lips and it's a little darker. I have darker lips anyway. They're really like 
dark rosy pink and so ooh, they make my lips look really full and pretty so I really like that this is my look using ColourPop Cosmetics. I really enjoy the look and I like the uh, cheek products especially. The eyeshadow is pretty, nothing super special, but then again, I got a basic color thinking that the darker color that I got would be cool blended into it and I couldn't use that one. And then the lip products I'm really, really, really impressed with. So I think ColourPop overall is a really, you know, a really good product line. So I'm excited to try more stuff by them. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've tried anything, if you think that I should pick up anything specifically because I'm a ColourPop noob, obviously. Um, I want to know what you guys love and uh, if you've had any issues with them, let me know. I'd love to hear that too. Make sure that you check theprettyplus.com. I'm going to be posting some photos and things like that, um, listing all the names there. I hope that you guys subscribe so you can watch some of my videos soon. I hope to talk with you soon. Bye guys.